Whoops. Well, okay, that's not going to work. There we go. That's a little bit better right there. Thanks for joining us on News Channel 3 Daybreak. We're still getting a lag in data for some reason. Sorry about that. But if you are going to be planning to stick around, we'll have more details on the rest of the forecast coming up here in just a little bit. This is our exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime. And if you have never tuned in here before, I apologize again for the possibility of the uh, computer being a little bit herky-jerky this morning. But we'll continue to onwards as if we can get this fixed. Have to talk to our engineers about what's going on here, but hopefully we'll get through the entire thing without making it look like our video processing speed is going too much on the slow side. This is our exclusive video weather blog, current conditions in the Mid-South located right here in the blue bar, forecast for today in the red bar here and in the blue bar down toward the bottom of the screen. That's where we're seeing again the forecast into later on tonight. If you have any questions or concerns about the forecast and you're on Periscope and Twitter, drop them into the comments section and I'll get to them as I possibly can, or you can go to wreg.com slash weather for more information about what you can see here in the Mid-South area. When it comes to earthquakes, we keep an eye on the New Madrid fault line very quickly, seeing again a lot of activity there over the last six months, but nothing to report within the last 24 hours, so good news on that, and so far so good where it comes to that number of earthquakes out there. Rhodes College in Memphis, looking again at a few blue skies mixed in with some cloud cover across the Mid-South, but not seeing again a lot of anything involving major amounts of rainfall throughout the rest of the day. Notice again the forecast has kind of increased the chance of showers and thunderstorms to around an 80% chance for much of the Memphis metro area throughout the rest of the day. From the National Park Service, Glacier National Park in Montana, from the goat haunt look out over the waters, not doing too bad from early on Saturday morning, so a good view there. Olive Branch, Mississippi, from former mayor and current meteorologist Sam Reichard, webcam showing again a lot of clouds in and around Olive Branch, Mississippi from early on this morning. A lot of sunshine this morning around Ole Miss at the Crosby Hall Construction Camp looking from Crosby Hall southward to the brand newly refurbished Student Union, getting a bit of an upgrade there. Looks like construction is well underway, hopefully going to be finished up by the time the uh, new semester begins to kick in at some point in time. Looking at mid-70s so far, hazy overcast around Germantown this morning. Not again a lot of major amounts of rainfall to report here, but more chances of showers and thunderstorms into the next several hours. As we go toward about mid to late morning, that's where we see again the potential for more shower and thunderstorms activity moving its way on through and that goes right on in through the rest of the day as we see again the potential for more showers and thunderstorms around the Mid-South area as we get into this afternoon and this evening especially that's where we're going to be seeing the best possibility for any activity. Severe weather at this time does not appear to be a threat. We'll talk about that coming up in just a little bit. Let's go ahead and run the numbers for you and show you what we've got going on throughout the rest of the day today. Again temperatures will be very much on the warm side. Not seeing a lot where it comes to very cool numbers anytime soon. This is of course July in the Mid-South so not really getting a a lot of good news where that is concerned for any time soon. Uh, again, this is the very warmest part of the year for us, July and August in this part of the country. And by the time we hit about lunchtime, temperatures will easily be around 90 degrees by the time we work our way through about lunchtime today. Anywhere in the area that you see these areas of green, that's going to be the best chance of showers and or thunderstorms popping up. So you may get a thunderstorm in Collierville, nothing down the road in Germantown. You may get something in Millington and nothing in Lakeland. So they're going to be that wide widely scattered across the area and they're going to keep right on going through about News Channel 3 at 5. That's where we see again the peak heating time of the day, getting the atmosphere as wibbly wobbly as possible, getting a lot more thunderstorms developing out there into the rest of the day for today. Still on the warm side through sunset tonight, high 70s through right around 90 degrees close to the Memphis metro area and then as we get into around News Channel 3 at 10, afterwards into around daybreak. Less of a chance of showers and thunderstorms coming up, but still that possibility of a slight risk of a thunderstorm or two. Better possibilities into tomorrow late morning and into the early afternoon hours, mainly tomorrow along and south of I-40. That's going to be the main possibility of seeing anything in the way of shower or thunderstorms for Sunday. Not the greatest chance. Again, outdoor activities, you probably can go ahead and keep those if at all possible, but I would keep a very close indoor uh, activity possible as well to get back indoors again to make certain that you are able to uh, get sheltered from anything involving thunderstorms out there just to be on the safe side there. News Channel 3 at 10 on Sunday back in the 70s to around the lower 80s. Again, rest of the forecast, and for some reason this is not the forecast that we should have been seeing on here. Apologies for that. We're having some more difficulties on 
this at this point in time. So we'll tell you that the forecast for today and tomorrow, mid to upper 80s for today, tomorrow in the lower 90s, isolated chance of showers and thunderstorms as we go into the rest of next week. Very hot temperatures, not quite these numbers. We'll have more on that coming up on News Channel 3 Daybreak in just a little bit. Tropics, we do have a little bit more activity going on mainly down into around portions of the eastern Pacific into around the area just off of Baja. We had Tropical Storm uh, Edward into that area or Edmund making its way out into the eastern portions of the Pacific. And as of right now, what's left of the area of, pardon me, Eugene, now making its way up into the northern cooler waters of the Pacific. And that is going to, again, continue on its current track. We have a hurricane, track Category 4 major hurricane, Fernanda, making its way on a beeline due west. Not a threat to the Hawaiian Islands at this time, so good news on that. And likewise, with all the dust covering the Atlantic Ocean from the area off the Sahara and Africa, that dust blowing wind out there, wind blown dust I should say, that's where we're seeing the squashing of any thunderstorm or development out there is without anything in the way of clear blue skies and sunshine to really get these storms going there's not much that's going to be expected at this point. To the east coast, the gulf coast or Florida you want to see going on out the area and the inside out there. Hot here but very hot into around the area of Iraq temperatures back into the triple digits right before sundown and again this is a good example of weather where a lot of American and service personnel are stationed a little bit far around the area of Afghanistan, a little farther to the east. A little bit less oppressive, but still on the warm side around Kandahar, 104 degrees there. Rain at the Kabul airport and cool, 76 degrees there. 90s in Faizabad and back toward the Herat area. Heading toward the temperatures going back into and around, pardon me, had to keep track of the time there for a second. Temperatures in and around Korea today back into the upper 70s to around the lower 80s as Saturday comes to a close and Sunday begins to take over. And then back to around the area around Guantanamo Bay in Cuba. Temperatures in the mid to upper 70s, very close to what we're feeling in the Mid-South, very tropical numbers here. Get our weather app, whatever platform you've got, go to your app store and search WREG Weather for an opportunity to see more about what's going on in the Mid-South and beyond. And also, if you're going to be doing anything in the Mid-South, keep it tuned to the News Channel 3 forecast. If you can't get it on air uh, with the television forecast or online, listen on the radio. My forecast available from the East Arkansas Broadcast Network throughout the rest of the weekend on Country 92.5 and Oldies 102.3 and bright and early with Bob and Josh on Talk Back Live Monday through Friday morning, 7 to 9 a.m. And, of course, on all of my regular social media channels. You can catch me on any of these locations with the forecast and all sorts of great information uh, reportable there. We'll have an update on the forecast throughout the rest of the weekend on News Channel 3 on air and online, so stay tuned for more on that. We also have another thing to watch as we go into Monday. A coronal mass ejection will be taking place or has taken place. A large burst of energy has moved off the sun's surface and at some point in time in about the next 24 to 36 hours that energy will be smacking into the earth, at least giving us a glancing blow. Now what it's going to do to us still a little too early to tell. Could scramble up a few radio waves maybe cause some problems with GPS navigation. Could see some auroras very close to the Mid-South, maybe not in the Mid-South area, but we could see more activity like that throughout the rest of next week, early next week, again with this passing storm system. This is something we will be watching with a lot of interest over the next couple of days, so stay tuned for more. It's not going to be a major concern. Matter of fact, if you're on the ground and just doing everyday things, you're not going to be really seeing too much out there to worry about, but in the next 24 hours, it could get very interesting interesting as this energy wave makes its way through the solar system moving at about a million miles per hour and smacks our planet with a lot of energy coming in from off the sun so stay tuned for more on that on these websites that website and again through news channel 3 on air stay tuned for more throughout the rest of the weekend we'll keep you advised live and direct from downtown memphis i'm meteorologist austin onick thanks for joining us for the latest edition of our exclusive video weather blog weather overtime for saturday